Hello detectives and welcome to Identity 5 Tips. And today we are talking about a very important topic, face camping. Recently there are many survivors who are bugged by face camping. But what exactly is face camping? To face camp you basically have to be a hunter, sitting right in front of a rocket chair with a survivor on it and wait until the chair sends the survivor back to the manor. Bye bye! If you want to face camp like a pro, you can use talents and traits to improve your skills. Select Tinnitus, a talent that will give you a prompt whenever a survivor is within the range of 36 meters. And select the peeper trait and put a peeper right in front of the rocket chair. Nearby survivors will be displayed which makes the protection of the rocket chair way more easy. As soon as the survivor wants to rescue your hostage, you can either strike him down with a terror shock or focus on the survivor that was on the chair in the first place and knock him out again. And by the way, if you put one survivor three times on a chair like this little fellow right here, the rocket chair will launch instantly. See you back in the manor! And who doesn't like to play as a survivor? Just to find out that the hunter will stay right next to you to make sure the rocket chair will definitely launch and send you back? Isn't that a great feeling for every survivor? Well, no, not really, right? Face camping hunters are difficult to overwhelm, but I have some tips that might help you escape the manor and outsmart the hunter. The first tip is pretty easy. Try to disturb the hunter and lead him away, so a different team member can help the survivor on the chair. This is not going to work all the time because face campers tend to stay with their hostages, but definitely it's worth a shot. The second tip is a little bit more tricky. What you want to do is go to the rocket chair with the survivor on it. Yes, you heard right. Get right in front of this chair. The hunter will then give you a welcoming hit on your head. But that's exactly what we want him to do. Because after the hunter hit the survivor, he needs to recover for about 3 to 4 seconds. In this time you can rescue your teammate and run away. Or even better, if you have the coordinator or the forward, you can stunt the hunter again to get away safe and sound. The last tip is probably the easiest one. You just have to sacrifice the survivor that is being face camped. Keep decoding and get the victory with 3 survivors escaping or at least get a draw with 2 survivors escaping. I hope this video made you guys understand what face camping is and how to deal with it. Detectives, that's it for today. See you all in the next episode of Identity 5 Tips.